SQL tables. Learn to create tables, modify table by add new columns, modify table by this modifying the column properties, modify tables, delete columns, display table structures and everything related with the tables. Hi, this is Samir sir, solution architect and IT trainers with 37 plus year of experience in IT certification training and software and hardware solutions. Let's learn how to create table. So SQL database is divided and it stores under database, it stores something which is called as a table. So let's uh, take example of, let's we want to save a university database. So we may have some tables with, where it can store engineering students details. We may have some tables which can store commerce student tables. We may have some tables which can store our students table. We may have some tables where it can save students for medical students details. Apart from there, there can be details about professors, courses, address of all the students, so on and so forth. Now, under database, it stores table. Under table, it divides data into something like this. Let's take an example of this engineering students. So we may keep a table structure like this, like name, course, mark one, marks two, marks three, mark four, four subject mark. Let's assume we have four subjects. If there are six subjects, we may have more two columns. Total mark, percentage, status, grade, division, so on and so forth. Now, these vertical informations is called as a column name or field name. So this name is a one column or one field. Course is a another column. Mark one is another column. Marks two is another column. Marks three is another column. When all these columns are combined together, it will make one row or in other words, it is called as a records. Vertically, these are called as a columns or it is also called as a field. When all these columns are combined together, it will make one record. When all these records combined together, it will make one table. When all these tables are combined together, it is called and saved under database. So this is a basic structure of SQL database. So let's create the table. So query number seven will be create mark table. Fine. So before that, if you can just see, right now it is showing you here the name of the master. When you click a new query, it says that it's a name in the master. We cannot create data or tables in a master. So I'm saying a command code is a use test data. When I select this command and when I execute it, the name of the database will be now reflected to test data. So now whatever tables and objects which I'll create, I'll, it will go into test data. Fine. So I want to create the mark table. So I'm writing command create table mark. Fine. All right. So first thing I'm saying, let's say roll number. This is a this is a small int. It is not null. Not null means you cannot have blank. You cannot have any blank value in the roll number. It must have some value. And this is another constraint that this is a primary key. Why primary key? Because no two students will have same roll number. Second will be first name. Second field will be first name. Let's say I'm giving it where care. If you want to know what are these small int and where care and all those stuff, there is another video which is link I am shared in this uh, descriptions. Go through the second video here. All the things are there along with the PDF files with the data type, what is the data structure, table structure and all the six. Here we are just directly concentrating more on the query. So this is our seventh query. So first name, let's say I'm saying first name, I want to go with the where, where, where care, which means that I can have character and number also. And this is also not null. After every field, I'm giving comma. Next is last name. It's also where care, 25. This is the way how you will define a table structure, not null. Now, next will be course name. Let's say where care. Let's say I want to give course name. It can come within 10 character. You can increase it, decrease it according to your requirement. Next will, will be mark one. Now this will be small int. And default value, value is a zero. Default is a constraint. Mark two, small int. Default, default will be zero. Next three will be mark three, small int. Default will be zero. Next, I'm having mark four, small int. Default will be zero. Next will be total mark, small int. Default will be zero. Next will be percentage, 
परसेंटेज परसेंटेज कैन हैव डेसिमल वैल्यू ऑल्सो सो आई विल गिव इंस्टेड ऑफ स्मॉल नाउ आई विल गिव डेसिमल एंड मैक्सिमम वेल विथ विज ए फाइव डिजिट एंड इट कैन हैव टू डिजिट डेसिमल डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू ऑल्सो विज ए जीरो नेक्स्ट फील्ड विल बी स्टेटस वॉट इज स्टेटस स्टेटस कैन हैव आइदर पास और फेल सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वेयर केयर एंड पास एंड पास और फेल विल टेक मैक्मम फोर कैरेक्टर विथ सो आई एम गिविंग फोर डिजिट विथ फॉर द वेयर केयर एंड लास्ट विल बी द ग्रेड वॉट विल बी द ग्रेड ग्रेड विल बी वेयर केयर वॉट इट कैन इंक्लूड इट कैन इंक्लूड पास क्लास सेकेंड क्लास फर्स्ट क्लास एंड डिस्टिंगशन सो दैट ऑल दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन विल कम विद इन फिफ्टीन कैरेक्टर आई एम क्लोजिंग द ब्रैकेट राउंड ब्रैकेट सो वॉट आई डू आई ओपन दिस आई सिलेक्ट दिस क्वारी आई एम क्लिकिंग ऑन एग्जीक्यूट बटन वंस आई एग्जीक्यूट इट इट्स एस कमांड कम्प्लीटेड सक्सेसफुली सो वॉट वी हैव डन अंडर टेस्ट डेटा वी हैव क्रिएटेड अवर फर्स्ट टेबल विच इज नेम एज ए मार्क If you expand test data, below test data you can see there are following things. Data base can have tables, tables can have database diagram, tables, view, external resource, programmability, storage, security, and so many things. Below table it gives some other things, and there something which is called the DBO mark. DBO stands for database object. So mark is a table which we have created. If you expand it, it shows you a column. So if you again click on plus sign, this is called as a file structure. i'm just dragging it to this side this is it's called as a table structure mark table will have following column name first column name is roll number next to the roll number before roll number it is showing a small symbol like this key what this means that it stands for primary key this key will indicate this roll number is a primary key it's short form pk is also specify that it's a primary key it's a small int and it cannot have null Similarly, first name is where can 25 character you can save first name as long as up to 25 character width, not null. Last name 25 character course name will be up can store up to 10 character marks one, marks two, marks three, marks four. I'm assuming that there are four subject. If you course may have six subject, then you will have to have mark five, mark six, something like that. Total mark, percentage, status, and grade. There can be many other fields like students roll number, then divisions, students first name, second name, last name. There can be multiple. students address and all the stuff address one address two city pin code all the stuff you can say but for this course let's say this is the first table which we have created i hope you have understood it so now we'll close this query also if you want you can save it let me show you how to save it you can say do you want to change save changes to this following item you can say yes and you can give file name you can give some space where you can give the query i don't want to save it because i have enough of these tables so i can say no i'm closing it back fine now we'll create query number 8 will be how to create another table so i'll click on again new query query number 8 will be create customer table what is customer table i'm creating on database where we can save all the customer details for master so it is something like this when you want to open an account in bank you have to fill one form to open an account and once you open account with the bank and thereafter you can do all the transactions of depositing cash withdrawing cash depositing check withdrawing check fee making fixed deposit and so on and so forth so okay so now we will create query number 6 will be create customer table so the very first command that you will give that is use where you want to save this table into test data so i use command will specify that i want to store data into this database so now this test data name will appear fine now rather than typing i'm copying it the query so i'll explain it command is create table what is the command and table name customer this is a customer master table i'm creating use open round bracket first field is party underscore code we cannot have space in between the field name or column name so in order to distinguish between a big word i have used underscore so party underscore code where can means the party code can store code up to 5 character it will not have null value means you cannot have blank and it will be a primary key that means i cannot have two different party which can have the same party code fine second field will be party underscore name i want it it can go up to 40 character long you can keep it 50 60 depending upon the requirement there are some party name which are very long you can distinguish into first name surname last name whatever way you want first name second name last name surname so on and so forth but here i am using only one field that's space pe party name next i am next field is address line 1 i am using 
okay to store character value character up to 40 character then third is address line 2 city 30 character i want pin code i am defining it as a int because pin code will be stored as an integer number it is a six digit integer number in india if your country have got pin code with a space so in that case instead of int use where and increase the width to whatever width you want for pin code next field will be state where care 50 that means in state field i can store data up to 50 character long you can change this width according to your system design and system requirement to know more about what are these data type where care int small int decimal there is another video i am giving the link in this description and also a pdf file link is also attached in the description and last field is a country after you type the query select the query and click function key for our execute button so it's a command completed successfully let's see whether this table has been created or not so still the name has not come right click and saying refresh now it says dbo customer it is created if you expand this table this is the structure for customer table party code it's short abbreviation pk stand for primary key and there is a key symbol which is there preceding to the party code field it's a where care 5 character party name will where care 40 character address line 1 is 40 character address line 2 city pin code will be integer state and country you have created two table now we'll create one another tables now the next query will be what we'll do we want to query number 9 will be i want to create a sales table so typing takes lots of time let me copy it for you you can pause this video and then can do this manually slowly and steadily now the third table i'm writing i'm creating is a sales table so i'm explaining create table sales now sales means when we sell any item when we sell any goods and materials we prepare some document which is called the sales it is also called as an invoice fine so in financial accounting term or in account receivable term it is called as a sales invoice so the third table which we are creating is a create table sales now the first field is the invoice number invoice number will be integer it will have numbers it will not have the blank value there cannot be any invoice which can have a blank value and this is a primary key that means at same invoice number i cannot repeat for one financial year second field i am using it is invoice date that means on which date i want i have created this invoice so here i have to specify invoice date now remember this third field is very important third field i am using that's a party code now just two minutes back we have created one customer table where party code is a primary key so when i make a invoice when i enter data for invoice i will not enter a full party name instead of party name i will give party code this is like when you go to bank bank will not know you with your name bank will know you with your account number similarly every foreign visitors international visitor have got passport number same way here instead of writing names every now and then for each and every invoice i will only enter something which is called as a party code so here the third field is a party underscore code it is a where care this width must be same as this width this is five character this is five character not null now here i am using constant which is referring word as a foreign key means when i say prime party code is a foreign key in sales table it will refer master it will refer which table it will refer customer customer this table customer party code fine very good next will be party name it is where care 40 character next will be item descriptions where care 40 character remember in this course i am assuming that we are selling only one item per invoice in real life we can have more than one item sales per invoice but then the data structure will change for easy course understanding i am assuming and i am giving only one item descriptions for this invoice that means per invoice i am only selling one item this is a assumption though in real life the case may vary item rate that will be integer quantity that is how many quantity you are selling if you want to have a quantity if you are selling quantity into meters and kilo where let's say you are selling quantity in 5.5 kg so instead of integer you will use what decimal similarly here i am using rate as an integer that means i cannot have decimal it says full integer value 
but if you are selling items which can have decimal let's say you are selling some item which rates goes in 50 rupees 25 paisa or 10 rupees 50 paisa something like that a decimal value you want to go then you will have to instead of integer field type you should take decimal next will be amount it will be money next let's assume i am giving discount so this is also money next we are using one field which is called a gst tax percent it is a small integer next will be gst tax amount this is money next will be packing charge money and finally i am giving the last field that's a net amount let me explain it once again i am creating table called sales the first column name is invoice number it's an integer not null and this is a primary key in one table you can only have one primary key you can have multiple foreign key one table can be linked with multiple references but in one table we can only have one primary key second is invoice date next is a party code party name item description rate quantity amount discount gst tax percent means how much government is charging gst tax amount next is a packing chart and final is a final net payable amount let me select this query and i am clicking on execute button fine so it says command completed successfully let me refresh it over here i am expanding tables so up till now we have created three tables we have created mark with this data structure similarly we have created one customer master table with this data structure party code party name address line one address line two cities pin code state country and finally we have created another which with this structure invoice number invoice date party code party name item description rate quantity amount discount gst tax amount gst tax percentage packing charges net amount in real life in there might be a table which may have more than 100 or 200 columns like invoice number invoice date chalan number chalan date order number order date party code party name party email address party reference customer who will be responsible for it party's delivery address party delivery address line one line two line three city state country where you want to deliver the bill there will be another things like where you want to deliver the item billing address will be different delivery address will be different there can be multiple fields for amount discount gst percent brokerage packing charge courier charge this charge that there can be hundreds of columns for sales table depending on the customer to customer it will have to change so we have created up till now three tables named as a one is mark another is a customer and third one is a sales table i hope you have understood how to create a table fine so let's proceed to our next query which means that means now i want to modify things so first i'll give command use which table which database i want to create and work with test data so i'll say test data i can create function key fi fine now now our next query is query number 10 will be modify sales tables now what is our sales table structure let's say uh, test data tables sales table so in the tables we have got invoice number invoice date party code party name item description rate quantity amount discount gst tax percent gst tax amount packing charge net amount so let's say i want to add two remark column into sales table so my command will be so i'll give command alter what what things i want to train table table sales fine i want to add what field what column i want to add remark one that will be where care where care 100 character long okay similarly i want to add another field called is the remark two where care 100 character when there are more than one column you have to be comma in between them fine select it and click execute button now it says that cannot find the object sales because it does not exist first of all if you can see this error means that first of all I, this table exists on test data so here it should come instead of master i should have test data now let me execute command again execute button so it's a command completed successfully now this was our earlier structure it had 2 4 6 8 10 12 13 fields now after giving this command if i say refresh and now if i expand the column so now it has added 
two more column which stands for last two columns stand for remark one where care 100 and remark two so this is a way how you can alter earlier created table now next would be let's say similarly query number 11 would be let's say we want to modify customer table and same way we want to add total sales column into it so let me first show you what is the structure looks like I am expanding customer table these are the column field party code party name address line 1 address line 2 city pin code state country so I will say command alter table which table I want to change customer so I will say customer ok so what I will say I want to add a column add total total underscore sales and that will be a numeric money field M O N E Y money I will select these two command I will say execute it says command completed successfully in order to see it right click click on refresh again expert column so now total sales one new field has appeared below the existing field so this is the way how you can modify sales table we have modified customer table we have up till now modified table by adding columns now suppose if instead of adding columns i want to remove columns so now or you want to adjust the column width so now we'll see how to modify the table and increase or decrease column width so now query number 12 will be in modified sales table i want to change the width of remark one column so i'll expand the sales table i'll compress this and i'll expand the sales table this remark one field has got width of where 100 character long width so i want to alter sales table so i'll say alter this is a sql query number 12 table sales okay what i want to do i want to alter instead of add now i don't want to add a column i want to alter a column width so i'll use a sql command sequence alter alter column which column i want to modify i want to modify remark one field so i'll say remark one instead of 100 character i want where care where care let's say i want to reduce it or i want to increase it let's say here i am trying to increase 125 i'm clicking on execute button it says command completed successfully still it is showing 100 what we usually do is right click again and re refresh expand these columns now as you can see after giving the above command it has increased column width from 100 character to 125 same way you can reduce it also now we have added column we have modified column width now next will be delete column suppose if i don't want another column so query number 13 would be let's say modify sales table and delete column that is let's say i don't want remark two column i want to delete it however just remember if you have got any table where you have used index unique primary key or foreign key you cannot delete or you cannot delete that column those columns where you use it as an index primary key unique key or foreign key those constraints which are if you have used you cannot delete that column but here i am trying to delete a normal column which is remark 2 so now what i want to do i want to delete a column so i will give command alter alter which table i want to change table sales instead of add column or alter table i want to delete so i will use command that is a drop drop column remark remember if you give this command still we haven't added any data into this table but if you give this command and if this table have hundreds and millions of records all the data in remark 2 column if it had been added earlier that will be deleted from this table so give this command carefully i am refreshing the sales table again now after applying this drop column it has removed the last field which was remark 2 field you have deleted so now you have learned how to create the data how to modify data by adding new column altering width property or reducing or increasing and removing column